this is the last episode of the series. I have done some more testing with the new fusion method using the iron. The main goal of this fusion method is to join two large sheets of corpus together. I will give summary and recommendations at the beginning part of this video. I will explain how I come up with these recommendations and more details of my experiments in the later part of the video. Let's get into it. When joining two sheets together, I will avoid creating a full line along the length of the joint because it would be very difficult to fold the joint sheet. The heat seems to have changed the property of the material. When I bend it in one direction, it works fine. I even tried it over 200 times. But if I bend it in the other direction, the surface cracked, as shown here. When you're trying to join two sheets together, and the bowl will be folded in this direction, that means if you use this new fusion method, you should apply the iron at the bottom. When you bend it or folding it, it will still maintain the reliability. Please refer to last episode on how I use a heat gun to make this flushed joint. I cut open a joint, and it is interesting to see how the two sheets suffused it together. I have applied a tensile force of 140 pounds to a 2 inches by 2 inches joint, and it handled it very well. The jointed surfaces on both sides are very smooth. Unfortunately, it's not watertight, but it maintains some of the flexibility of the coral plast. It can handle the folding from either direction. Because the heat and force was applied from the top, and the top coral plast sheet was being compressed into a solid piece of plastic, I'm going to bend it, watch this area. I slowly bending it further. You can see the stress on the surface. It's okay to be at 90 degree. I'm going to forward further. You can see more stress on the surface. I tested folding and uh, folding the joint at 90 degree for over 200 times, and it seems to be okay. Let's flip it to the other side. This side is very different. I tried to bend it the other way. There's a crack formed on the top sheet. Therefore, it's not good to bend the joint in the other direction. The heat seemed to have changed the property of the coral plast, and it lost its elasticity. When you bend it, it cracked open. When I did the compressed joint, the force was applied here. That's why the top surface being compressed and form a sheet of plastic. Now I'm going to apply compression on the other side too, and apply heat as well. It really becomes a solid sheet of uh, plastic. How well can it handle the bending? This is the overlapped area of the joint. I'm going to bend it. Seems to be holding well, but then when you look at the bottom here, when I bend it, you see the the plastic lost its elasticity, and it basically just cracked open. 
Now I'm going to bend forward the other direction. Oh, oh it cracked too. So when it becomes a sheet of plastics, its property changed it and it's not flexible at all. When you apply force to it, it just cracked. This kind of joint is strong, but it doesn't allow you to fold it. This is the last episode related to these two fusion methods. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up as a feedback. That will help me to grow the channel and let more people aware of what I've been making. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I will have more interesting videos coming online in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.